We are live, CellularHealing.tv, episode 17, Cellular Healing TV. Special guest, one of the best ever on the planet, Dr. Pampa's beautiful wife, Marilee. Say hi, Marilee. Hey, guys. Good to be and, here. And, um, you know, we all say that our wives are hormonal, um, and sometimes that could get us into trouble, especially when you're a natural health practitioner. But Marilee um, has had a lot of hormone conditions in the past, and that, that sounds like I, you know, even though we're both a napper right now and she can knock on my door and um, have a word with me, but the nice thing about Marilee, she's on the mission with us and she really does care about her health and she lives up to if there might be something going wrong in her body. So we're talking about hormone conditions today and Marilee is very open and willing to share with us today, so we're very thankful to have everyone with us. Dr. Pompa, thank you. We're in Napa right now with a bunch of world-changing doctors from around the country meeting in Napa, masterminding to make a difference um, in this world with people like you watching today. So, Dr. Pompa, Marilee, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she might be too open, so we'll have to <laughs> just be careful there. But, yeah. She doesn't uh, care. She's yeah. like me. We're related. <laughs> exactly. So, I'm a little nervous right now. I'm between two Phillipses. And for those of you who don't know, actually, my wife is actually Warren's cousin. So, um, yeah, so it could get uh, scary. I don't have David here to balance this thing out. I, 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 we are live in Napa, just so you so you know. See, this is uh, from our hotel room. Yeah. And that's my poof of hair, so this is true. <laughs> um. So, well, anyways, you know, hormone dysregulation, you know, what what a topic. And I, I actually wanted uh, Marilee to, you know, come on and really give a, her perspective on it. Obviously, she lived through it, uh, you know. <laughs> Which part? Myself yeah. or him? <laughs> I lived through it differently. Here we go. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Warren and I always say, you know, our, we know our wives are home metal. They just never want to admit it. But she's here to admit it tonight. So, that's all. We just want to get this taped and uh, admit it. <laughs> no, but um, actually, you know, if you read R5 of the articles uh, the, about, you know, R1 through 5, R5 deals with methylation. And in that, uh, we tell the story of, um, you know, my wife's story and how really it came off of her mom, you know, and the story goes, and I'll let her fill in some of the details, but, uh, you know, my wife, when I met her, she really had all kinds of allergy problems. I mean, I literally remember her laying in bed with compresses over her sinuses and being in bed for days, spring and fall. I remember the horse pills you would take before your periods. Um, and 800 I, milligrams of ibuprofen. Milligrams. I also remembered your cabinets. You remember, um, well, you always correct me and say there was Snyder's hard pretzels, peanut butter and noodles of noodles. Correct. Is that right? Okay, yeah. That salsa. Was, yeah, okay, that was your diet. No the salsa. Butter. I didn't see the salsa. That was probably what I drank when I was looking for food. I dipped them in This the... is college days now, <laughs> folks, okay. But anyways, the point was she met me, changed her diet, and a lot of things changed. I mean, you know, you did. I, a lot of your health problems definitely got better. But the hormone wishes got better, but they didn't change. I mean, there were certain things that just, uh, you know, stayed around. For years, we didn't know. Um, and... You know, obviously, just to fast forward, uh, we ended up uh, doing a, a couple different tests on you. One, which is a 24-hour hormone test, which is the test that I, you know, Suzanne Summer said saved her life, and I know that it saved your life. And it showed that your methylation was completely tanked, and your estrogen ratios were flipped. The bottom line is you were going to end up just like your mother. You know, so it explained the hormone problems. But going upstream further, um, we have to ask ourselves what depleted the methyl. Uh, methylation and Marilee, like her mother, had extremely elevated lead. What were you, what was the first test that we did on you? What was your lead I value? I think it was like one ten or one twelve. Yeah, no, I, that was the the first one was like, like one one sixty. Yeah, and then the second one when it started coming out of your bones, when we started getting went up, and then it went <laughs> down progressively over the years. But really, so it was the, her toxic lead. Um, how did you get all that lead? Um, I, well, obviously, other than from my mom, I chewed on my green crib, <laughs> yeah. which I remember, like, remember I just remembered that at one point, yeah. like, along the way. She would rock in her crib, I mean, literally. Well, that's rock. a whole other issue, yeah. but she it's still, all related. She still rocks, and every once in a while we find her chewing on the baseboards. But anyway, <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, well, <laughs> we had a bunny that did that, actually, and died. Um, <laughs> it was lead a feeder rock. Really people, like, make fun of people for chewing on lead paint. Merrily actually did it, so. I, I did it. And a I laughing matter, no. 
I did remember that along the way. At, at some point, I remember saying to Danny, you know, in the process of chelation, like, oh my gosh, you know what I just remembered out of nowhere? I actually chewed on my green crib. Mm -hmm. And I obviously, I lived in an old home, the one that your dad also grew up in, lead pipes. Yeah, lead, lead pipes. Lead, um, leaded gas lines that we sat in and sniffed the fumes. I remember my mom had a couple of Volkswagens. And we, we grew up in the lead generation. Yeah, I mean, no yeah. doubt about it. So did our parents. And the number one source is your mom. And you know, again, you can read the article, uh, R number five, and really kind of get a, a better grip of this. But uh, the bottom line was, is her mom had major lead issues, major hormone issues, which she ended up with breast cancer. Um, typical treatment uh, was considered a cure for breast cancer. That's yeah. the sad part, right? And I, I remember the conversation with her saying, look, if you don't get to the cause, uh, you're going to end up with another form of cancer. No, my doctor said my estrogen's fine. Well, no, look, they're looking at, we had all these arguments. Yeah. And uh, sure enough, you know, her estrogen wasn't fine. That, that's the importance, Warren, of the 24-hour hormone test because it looks at estrogen ratios. It doesn't look at blood estrogen. It looks at good and bad and estrogen metabolites. So completely different. So the bottom line was is she never did get to the cause was it, I mean, almost 10 years to the month, she ended right. up being diagnosed with type uh, stage 4 uterine cancer, mm -hmm. and she died two years after that, correct? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I was just thinking, you know what else my mom, professionally, my mom um, sold makeup. Mm. That was what she did for, you know, that was her, anytime she worked, that was what she did. So she, And obviously then it was toxic, 100% No, it toxic still is. Beauty. It still is, yeah. Right, it still is, but most people weren't aware as we are today, that makeup is a major hormone disruptor. It is. I mean, there's BPA, which turns on genes. So if you have a, a cancer gene, no doubt my wife has her mother's gene. Right. You know, for to get breast cancer, et cetera, et cetera. But the, the difference is, folks, is just because you have the gene doesn't mean you're going to get the cancer. Obviously, that gene can be turned on. We know that putting on makeup and things like that. We'll talk a little bit more about that, Warren. Yeah, I think, I think that, that's a big point we just hit, and it just really struck me is that. You know, a lot of people watching this are like, well, you know, I didn't have lead pipes, you know, in my home. You know, I'm, I'm 30 years old, and I didn't grow up in a lead generation. But the makeup that you're putting on your body right now is more toxic to you than what you're eating. And I think Meryl is actually an expert on that. I mean, and she, she puts all clean, safe makeup on without compromising the type of makeup that makes you look good and, and, and does the things that you know you needed to do. So there is a balance there. And I think those watching, we've never talked about this topic um, directly, um, toxic beauty, we call it, on uh, Cellular Healing TV. So this is this is a hot topic, and it's actually one of our biggest topics. I think we should definitely do some more on it. Yeah, so, well, I mean, let's just stop there. I mean, we'll, can, we'll continue, but, you know, the bottom line is Marilee took away all these toxins in her life to build up her methylation again because we were giving her a lot of methylation. It wouldn't go up. You know, there's a certain level of toxicity you have to bring down before your methylation will come up. And, and just for our, our, you know, viewers, methylation is you need it for detox. You need it to protect your gene. It, you need it to turn on your good genes and turn off your bad genes. So these methylation, you, you need it to activate the stress response in the body. Um, so therefore, that's why so many people are so stressed. You're emotionally stressed. You're toxically stressed. You know, and therefore, most Americans are methyl depleted. And then, therefore, your body literally takes all the methyl donors it has to adapt to the stresses, chemical and emotional. That's what was happening with you. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is it leaves your DNA vulnerable. So now all these bad genes start getting turned on. Now you're not getting rid of toxic estrogen because, by the way, her, that's what her test showed. Is she was building up toxic estrogen just like your mom. Why? Because she didn't have enough methyl groups to get rid of it. Your body attaches the methyl groups to the toxic estrogen gets rid of it. And she was building up very toxic estrogens that cause breast cancer. One is called 3,4-quinones, which is 4-hydroxyestrone, which turns into these 3,4-quinones, which cause breast cancer. That's where she was headed. She was headed there exercising and eating a good diet, folks. You know what I'm saying? But, again, these things... A she, great diet. She cleansed her life of the, the chemicals, and, again, changing her makeup was a big deal because... That's something that I know every woman out there watching this is going, I don't want to get rid of my makeup to work. So tell them some of these things that you did to clean up your toxic life. Well, first so, of all, I think... Honestly, Mary, some of the products you use because that's the hard part. And, you know, Dan, just to build off of that, so what, what Dr. Pompa is saying is you have a pool, call it 100, you know, um, 
erasers, you know, that you have in a, in a bucket. Only so many of those erasers can get rid of something that's toxic. And you Correct. keep using those things over and over again, and eventually those erasers run out, and then something toxic builds up, like an estrogen, which causes 95% of breast cancer. Your body can only erase so much bad stuff that you do between exercise, stress, makeup, diet, and obviously the toxic hormones your body produces innately as it goes through its cycle. Doing its thing, it produces toxin. Methyl groups are necessary. All the other onslaught of everything, including makeup, boom, something has to give. That's called the methylation priority principle. Um, Dr. Alan Vaninsky's work, um, pretty complicated, but essentially comes down to your body's going to prioritize and erase as much toxicity as it can with the pool of methylation, toxic removers that it has. If it runs out, it's going to prioritize, and in that prioritization, you don't die, but you wind up with cancer, which will kill you eventually. Yeah, exactly. I mean, your body doesn't know the difference of chemical stress, physical stress, or emotional stress. It needs these methyl groups to actually activate that response. So it needs it to activate cortisol. It needs it to activate adrenaline, and it needs it to deactivate them. And it will do everything. It will use all these methyl groups to deal with that chemical stress, emotional stress, physical stress, and it leaves you depleted. So we had to clean up our stresses, uh, you know, the chemicals. So what did you do? Yeah, after all that science, the important thing that people want to well, hear. Yeah. People are like, what do I do? Obviously, I, I got rid of my amalgam fillings. That's where right. it began. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I began chelating, which ironically enough, had he not gotten sick, I never would have even known that I had actually as high of lead or any lead as mm -hmm. I found out because basically – he took the test. I wanted to take the test. And when the results came back, we were both stunned because... But it even, explained a lot. <laughs> it, it certainly did because even though Danny was high mercury and there's a whole different set of symptoms and subset of symptoms that goes with mercury than what would go with lead. So completely different experience being neurotoxic. But as as you said, I started... I rid of the five amalgams that were in my mouth. Yeah. Obviously, the whole that whole video we did. Um, well, that's because I wouldn't kiss her anymore because she you know, was because. Oh, and, and and lips and lead in my lipstick. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a, lot, a ton them. of lead in lipstick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and actually, red is the highest in. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not kissing that either. And that's and important, that's you know, because I mean, I know a lot of women that are you know that red lipstick means a lot. So what what products do you use? What did so, you? So, and obviously, I'm a total girly girl, so I That's like awesome. my makeup. My mom sold makeup. I always had my options and a smorgasbord of options. So um, I totally went natural. I My favorite line, because I do like colors, is probably Zuzu, which is I buy it at Whole Foods. It's um, Gabriel is the parent company. Right. And, and they have... Right colors too. Um, I usually, when it comes to fragrance, I make sure that it passes his smell test. If, if it says it's natural, it doesn't he, always mean it, that it is, abs, folks. Right, exactly. Right. So you have to really know some of the key ingredients to look for, but if you know the lines and you know their integrity and what they won't compromise, then you can rest assured that you have a good product. Um, there's, I like Lagona. That's something I don't any, I can't find much anymore. So that would be a product you'd have to order online. Yeah, Zuzu, um, I know. Believe it or not, is that what your eyeshadow is right now? That's looking so good, the blue. Uh, it, actually, it's a combination of a couple of things on top of each other. But one of them is, yes, one of them is Zuzu, and the other one is actually Dr. Hauschka. So I, 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 I mix it up. I literally mix it up because I like different colors and I like. I like colors, so that's why I probably am. I lean that way when with that particular line. I think Gabriel has more conservative colors. So does Dr. Hauschka. Mm -hmm. Girl fusion products. When it comes to um, facial makeup, like foundations and things, you have to be careful with mineral makeup because some of the nanoparticle size can still be affecting your lungs, and that really becomes the issue with that. But um, if you use a cream base, then it's... So do they say that on the bottle, nanoparticle size? Yeah. Or is it... um, no, you really have to dig a little deeper. You have deeper. to do your homework on that. Yeah, exactly. What is that? In like the mineral type of makeups or what is the yeah. nanoparticle? Typically, right. And that's why, um, yeah, that's why some of these like bare essentials, people think it's a right. great product. It's not. Um, 
I think that... That's huge right there, because there's a lot of natural folks out there that are using bare essentials thinking they're doing something good for their body, and, and in fact, it's not. Right. I think mineral fusion is a little better, but again, it really is about... Um, I, honestly, for me, if you know a resource that you can trust and you know they've done their homework and you do what use what they recommend, then you're it's usually the way to go. It's it's really honestly why most of us will listen to what he says at the level that we do because we know he has well researched and he has looked at the things and we we do them before we recommend anything. And we know so, that they look good on you because you wouldn't do it otherwise. Yeah. Well, thanks. Um, but more importantly, you know, is the skin care product too. It's the lotions that you're putting on your yeah. body and your face before you even get to the makeup. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you I like... much makeup if you're not aging. Well, what, what's put here ends up right into your bloodstream, right. you know, and that's what people don't realize. That's why, look, we know that makeup and skin care products that we put into our skin, that's how we use bioidentical hormones. I mean, we put them right into the bloodstream which is actually more dangerous than eating them, by the way, mm -hmm. because when you eat them, it has to go through the process of digestion and through the liver, and your body has a chance. But when you put them right into your skin, right into your blood, your body has no chance. That's why it's so damaging. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously in the summer, I or whenever I can, I like to get some sun. I don't use sunscreen. I will put a hat on. Oh gosh, how do you stay looking so young? You're pushing 50. <laughs> well, there's no wrinkles there. Well, I thought that sun caused it. Oh, there's some wrinkles, but <laughs> but not the point. The point is really that you know the sun is is good for you, and more important even than the vitamin D, as you're learning through your research, is cholesterol um, sulfate. Right, the cholesterol sulfate is something that we need and that you can't get without the absorption of sunlight. You literally make it with sun, yeah, exactly. And, and by the way, just so this is part of my hormonal progress and process, is that I also absolutely need to get sun in order to really feel my best. I mean, mm -hmm. I feel better in the sun. Well, and, and let me say that right there. because. Again, it's more of a cholesterol sulfate thing. What people don't realize, and I know you've watched some of the back shows, I talked about the importance of cholesterol. Cholesterol is at the top of the hormone chain. My wife was very depleted in, in a lot of the major hormones. Cholesterol is needed to make those hormones, and specifically LDL, the bad cholesterol. Well, not so bad. Well, the sun actually helps combine sulfate and cholesterol together, which is a usable form of cholesterol that you need to actually make hormones. So... Yeah, I mean, it, it is a, and when she would get in the sun, she absolutely would feel better. I still do. So seasonal, uh, uh, you know, depression, seasonal issues are really more about a cholesterol deficiency than it is even vitamin D. I, I'm, I'm all for vitamin D. There's a lot of things. I mean, that this blows your mind. So what they're saying on TV, what they're telling you to do to your children, slather them with making them white and making yourself white so you can stay in the sun is actually probably making you fat and contributing to that, but definitely causing hormone dysregulation, cancer. Um, even, even cancer, I mean, yeah. at that level. Definitely heart disease. I mean, this is crazy, and we, and we market that so we could sell a product. I mean, why? think about it. It's counterintuitive. Why would God design your skin not to handle sun? Well, by the way, your skin... doesn't even make any sense, does it? Your no. skin is the largest organ of your body, so... If you're clogging your pores with various lotions that do that, and you're putting sunscreen on when you're in the sun, you're heading for disaster. You, you are yeah. absolutely going to end up having a problem, a well, huge problem. By the way, uh, you know, there's no and there's people yelling at us right now, saying, "I got skin cancer because of the sun." Uh, yeah, right. And it has to do with more of the fat and the cholesterol sulfate in the, in, under the skin, and you know, oxidized fats under the skin that sun will oxidize and make worse. So it's not so simple. By the way, there's no correlation with protection of cancer by using more sunscreen. That's what people don't realize. We're actually getting more melanoma. Here. Yeah, we're getting more melanoma, and you know, people, and we're using more sunscreen. So you know, do the math yourself. And don't I mean, the studies so. show it's the people actually that don't get exposed to the sunlight and that are under fluorescent lights and things? Oh, they're getting happen. they're getting melanoma at the same rates right. that people who are. So there's obviously when you look at these studies, you realize there's another factor. And of course, yeah, don't blame the sun, guys. Yeah, exactly. Right. Now that doesn't mean you go out and get burnt. Huh? You know, right. you don't get burnt. You know, you work up to where you can handle it because a burned skin is always a bad thing. But you know, obviously, a little bit of pink and red. That I mean, a little bit of pink. I'm sorry, that's fine. You know, don't get red to the point of burnt. But again, you can use shea butter, coconut oil as natural things. And of course, now there's some companies making more natural 
um, you know, products like we carry on the website, I think. Right? And then we do, you know, when, if we're in the Caribbean or if we're somewhere where the sun is intense, we either try to get out more quickly than we would, you know, on an average day in a normal situation, or we yeah. do use some sunscreen. Yeah, if you're going to be out on a boat, right. then I would use a natural sunscreen. And we'll, cover you know, up, with, or cover up. Yeah, or cover up is typically what I try to do. I, right. I try not to use it at all, but... So anyways, okay, I mean, these are some... You made... She, Got the lead out. <laughs> but that, with that said, that was that was that's this is it. You know, on average, it takes you know ten to fifteen years to get lead because most of it's stored in the bones, and that's a, another topic for another day. But you know, detoxing the lead out correctly. And if you haven't read my articles under articles, when detox becomes dangerous, we talk about how to get heavy metals out correctly. Please read those articles. You know, so very very important. But again, cleaning up our life. She cleaned up her life completely. I mean, she already had her diet cleaned up. But again, I, and I eat more makeup, good fats. I think I've yeah, increased I, my... Yeah, you've increased your fats. Absolutely. absolutely. I, I now do the ketogenic diet. Which we're going to talk about in a future show. Because to increase her fat, to actually even help down-regulate the, the cell uh, membrane or the inflammation on the cell membrane and heal the hormone receptors, uh, we actually increase her fat and drop her carbs dramatically, which is uh, a keto adaptation process. Which Warren, we're going to talk about on a future show, and we don't have time to talk about it today. But that was that was also part of a strategy. Um, so, but you know, should, in this area of detox, God, you were going to say I was, I was right. I was going to say, should I mention a CIA? <laughs> well, I mean, that's a skin thing. I guess before we get off that topic, um, it's a product with redox molecules in it that penetrates into the skin. Well, I think the uh, exciting thing for me because. I, I use or, um, Beyond Organic skincare line, and I absolutely love it. I use the various products that are that they have um, for the lotions and the eye creams and things like that, and I love it. Um, the interesting thing for me was, and we've been using ASEA. Their flagship product is a Redox product. I actually started using it a few okay. more than a few years ago. We're gonna lose them right there, and, and we'll do more on another show. So, Warren, you better write those two things down. Okay. Redox is needed for cell-to-cell -cell communication. It's reduction and oxidation. You need it to make cellular energy. You need it for hormones. You need it to for all these things of the cell. You need these redox molecules. Many people are very, which ends up causing a lot of problems in the body. You age prematurely. You get hormone problems, etc. Their, their product is a redox product that they used to be only able to give it IV. Now it's been stabilized to be able to give it orally. So I use it with the majority of my patients for cellular healing. But they recently came out with something that actually penetrates well, the dermis. And it works so well for me systemically, and it's worked so well for many of our clients, obviously. Any, all of our clients that have taken it, they have all experienced a reaction. And Sometimes the more toxic you are, it takes time to adjust to that and find that balance. But it has benefited everyone. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so, and when, put it simply, redox to tell the it's like taking a rusty bumper, putting on a cream and watching the rust disappear without scrubbing it off, but actually taking the oxidation, the reaction, the chemical reaction that caused the rust, and making that turn back into chrome, if you will. Right. And we so, all understand oxidation. Yeah. Oxidation. So this is redox is kind of it's a type of anti-aging, if you will. Right. And so it happened obviously in my screen. When we understand the value of that and we as we were taking that product, it was fantastic. Well, well you I, took it years ago. I, well that's what I, it's okay, go ahead. Right, sorry. that's what I was starting to say. And I had I had just, you know, along this journey, I've had a lot of symptoms and a lot of challenges and obviously staying the course, as you always say, it's the tortoise that wins the race. You just have to do the right thing long enough and your body continues to improve. So part of obviously what led me to ASEA or when someone brought it to me was understanding that I, I just had various well, fibromyalgia yeah, she did. experiences. Someone brought it to me and of course, you know, I'm like, I'm not taking this stuff. It kind of tastes like pool water. So I just I'm the guinea her. pig. I'm always <laughs> the guinea pig. I, I gave it to her. It's true. That was like four or five years yeah, ago. Yeah, I was. I, I gave it to her and literally, I'm telling you, within two weeks, you're like, this stuff's working because right. it was disappearing. Yeah. I wasn't even really taking it. And she's like, all my, all this girdle pain, which is, by the way, is, is very common for lead. Lead toxic people get upper girdle pain. Warren, you had it. We used yep. to call it Bonnie Ledwetter. But anyway, so Ledwetter. that went away. That went away for her. So and that I'm was Mary. her <laughs> That was Mary and Johnny Ledwetter. Um, they're cousins, figures. They both and, have oh, by the way, those are our grandparents' names. <laughs> uh, that's fine. But anyway, so, but it, it did. It, it took a it lot did. of those pain syndromes away. 
years later, then they developed it where it goes into the skin. Well, and then that was interestingly it. enough, a, a week ago, two weeks ago, we were in Vegas for a, a convention for ASEA, and obviously they, were, they released that product. Right, and when we when I heard about it, because basically I was spraying the stuff on my skin anyway, because I understand the it, benefits. It takes of it. away those age spots. When so, you spray it, this stuff actually is shown to take away right. wrinkles. So when they explained the new product, that it's a gel, it's in a very concentrated form, and when they started explaining how Dermatest, which is the European standard for all testing of skincare products and things, and, and that it passed their test, exceeded their standards. Well, it got like the highest level, like 23% in 28 days, something like that. So, so it's called Renew 28, and I'm so excited about it that obviously the what it the principle behind it and how it soaks into your skin and it it literally dries within a minute so you can still add your skincare things on top of it obviously expecting that those are safe and natural but for me I love Jordan's products but when something makes sense that it's actually rebuilding the cell at the level that this product actually can and knowing what it did for me internally mm -hmm. and systemically and what it does for our clients, I couldn't help but get really excited about that, about Renew. Anything, especially for those that are, you know, over 40 moving into 50, um, even me, you know, at, at 39, believe it or not, um, I have some age spots and I gave you a call because I know it's a new release product and, you know, age and wrinkling is not that big of a deal. I'm a guy. I think I look good with wrinkles, you know. I mean, I, I like my beard right now. Like, I'm, I'm into it. <laughs> but certain age spots, I'm like, man, I want that because Dr. Pompa said, you know, man, it's reduced my age spots. You can't see me. Can't By the way, I had one right I now. Had five me days. Too. Yeah, I five hope. days. I used it. it That's why we're all excited <laughs> talking about it. So that's literally gone. Yeah. I just gone. And yeah. the, the exciting thing is, and obviously we are, we're like a week, a little more than a week into this. So we, I don't want to get over crazy about it. However, based on what I saw, there were people using this product well before they've released it. They had phenomenal results. The standard that it has exceeded with the testing company is you can't deny it. And then when we've been using it, and I we did take pictures, we will give it the full month before we get Yeah, but my all there. five days, my age, like I had that spot, it went away. Yeah, and, and me days. too. Yeah. And you even said to me, mm -hmm. you know, oh my gosh, I can tell the difference in my wrinkles and I mean you know anyway out of so, all the things we said we talked about the of blood, we yeah. talked about other stuff but anti-aging and and uh, you know seeing age spots go away that's huge for those listening and you know that's you know it's important it is but the more important thing is how it's working it's not covering them up it's actually healing at the cellular level and, and that's cellular healing TV guys that's huge well, and, I, and I think the thing that I keep reminding myself of obviously I you know I love the superficial aspect of looking good and things like that however it's exciting to be able to entice someone into saying hey look at this product that makes a noticeable difference in the aging skin and to have that and then be able to basically bait them with that and go to what we really care about and that is the person's health overall. So if they're taking this and they're looking good, they're going to start to hear, perhaps with a greater sense of interest, what ASEA itself can do for them systemically and for their body yeah. and, and their oxidative stress levels and things. So that becomes, I, I mean for us, focused on our purpose of cellular healing and helping people understand that that's the biggest issue. Redox right now is it's new science. It's really it's exciting because when we look at cellular healing, what's going on, you know, redox, it's not just about reducing, taking antioxidants. As a matter of fact, most antioxidants won't work. They don't work if you don't have enough redox molecules. So a lot of people trying all these anti-aging, taking a lot of antioxidants, they can actually do themselves more damage, especially if you're, re uh, you're reduced in these redox molecules. So oxidation is just as important as reduction. You need it to make cellular energy. You need it for your immune system to work. The balance the homeostasis is where health is, um, and, and that's why you know the, the product gets the results. We kind of got off track. Oh wait, hold know? on, one more point <laughs> I should mention. We got off track because we got all excited about the skin. I thing, know, right? and I know we don't have a lot of time, but one thing I think it would be beneficial to mention is that because of that, the newness of the product and how they launched it and all of that, they're, they did they are doing this launch offer, and it's pretty impressive. And I don't even know what it is. But I know I think, it, I think it's 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 um, due today, the seventeenth on Friday. So um, you know, watching this, you know, here's what you can do. Let's just write merrily. 
um, at info, I-N-F-O, at drpompa.com if you're interested in that. Um, uh, Mer uh, not merely, info, I-N-F-O, at drpompa.com um, if you're interested in getting that anti-aging, well, it's not really anti-aging product, product, it's actually a redox product that's causing the stem to stop rusting. But, and, and I wanted to show this, Dr. Pompa, we discussed methylation being an important point, and I know that you give this to a lot of your patients, and I and I hope that you don't mind me sharing this, but here's the, um, I know we use Moore's a lot from systemic formulas, um, which is more of a, um, a you know, it, it, it has tetra full of something and some other things that you put in there, B, different B12s of, of hydroxycobalamin, whatever you put in there, but I know that you give this a lot um, systemically, taking Perk B12 right. yeah. and, and Fullerens, we call these methyl, methyl bombs, and I know these have been a life-saving product for me along with the SIA, um, yeah. and Moore's, and I'm going to show right now how you take it um, so that I think that's important. You take one Perk B12 to increase your methylation. Remember those erasers that get rid of the toxins in your body or help, you know, I'm, I'm saying it more simply than it is, but essentially you take one, one of these underneath your tongue, sublingually underneath your tongue, to one drop. <laughs> and that is a magic bullet really oh, increasing the methylation. It methylates your, your body, and after a month, I just know so much for me, you know, taking rid of, getting rid of brain fog, really helping me get energy because the methylation obviously, you know, interacts with your, not only your hormone pathways and cleaning that out, but, you know, some of the energy pathways as well. Um, in ENRG, you know, the, the five R's of cellular healing you really lay into that. So just wanted to share that because I had that and I was thinking about it. Here's this, uh, this is the one that Marilee took mostly right here. I take two to back four. Back it off a little bit so it's too bright. Back it off a little. Yeah, okay, back it off. She still takes this uh, you know, all the time. This was the methylation product. Burn it. Uh, which way? So that, that way. Can see the label. Is that right? Can you see it? The other or, side. Yeah, there's yeah. There you go. Is that it? All right, there it is. Anyway, so that's it. It's called Moore's, M-O-R-S. Um, you can, you know, obviously you can buy it on our website. Systemic Formulas makes it high-end product. Yeah, and it's it has methylation that people that have the MTHFR gene, they can't process regular folate. This one is the methyl tetrahydrofolate that people with that gene or SNPing can process. So, and that one that Warren took is uh, good for people who have digestive issues because it is in fact sublingual. So, okay, I'm go, I just popped a couple more. But, uh, Anyways, because we ran out of time, I feel bad. A lot of people are going to have questions more about the makeup or more about ASEA. Marilee, give them your Facebook because um, that's where you do a lot of your work. So I tell do. them how to get to your Facebook. I Yes, just it's my name. It's Marilee, M-E-R-I-L-Y. My maiden name is Duster, like Plymouth, D-U-S-T-E-R, and then my last name. So P O M P A. That is my wife. <laughs> Marilee Duster, Pumpa, got it. Yeah, yeah. Facebook. I mean, her Facebook is live. We oh, call and I'm, really live. And I'm the yeah. only one. <laughs> yeah. No. So you can, anyways. Uh, talk. They can talk to you there. Yeah, of course. We Absolutely. Accept. For sure. Tell them. Actually, tell her that you were on this call, and she'll accept you because. Yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. right. Just send me a message along with a, a friend request. There you go. Now you can learn more. So because we cut you off. All right, Warren. Maybe we have her back on because obviously we got sidetracked. Yeah, I mean, toxic beauty yeah. is the number one thing because people care honestly, about what they look like, and that's really important. It's important to us because we want to look, not only feel good on the inside, we want to look good on the outside, but we don't want to look good on the outside and not feel good on the inside. You really can't have both, guys. You heal the cell, you get well, you feel great, lose weight, you feel great, and you look great. And I, I know like that. that. <laughs> like that. Yeah, so that's another little tagline. I thought you'd like that. Yeah. All right. Bless you. Thank you. Have a, right. have a great rest of our trip here in Napa. Pray that we just have an amazing time. I know that you will. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. CellularHealing.tv. Share it with your friends. Thanks. Nice.